I think inventing is really exciting because it, for me, I really like taking things apart, putting them back together, mixing things, integrating them in different ways, um, trying to find unusual uses for kind of existing technologies or existing products. And I think when you start thinking about how you can kind of take everything apart, put it back together, um, mix and match things, you kind of start to get some interesting results. My name is Miles Barr, and I'm happy to be the winner of the 2012 Lummelson MIT Student Prize. And I'm really excited about the inventions that I've come up with while at MIT, um, specifically working on some types of new solar technologies, um, applying solar cells to kind of non-traditional substrates like paper, textiles, things like that. The idea is that you can really put these energy harvesting surfaces anywhere on anything. Um, so part of it is a uh, very lightweight nature of the cell. Part of it's the ability to integrate it with everyday surfaces. So any surface that's around you that does not have electricity in it now could. It's kind of a Harry Potter type of world where you have, you know, physical paper objects that don't have batteries, don't have um, things like this, and they can actually interact with you, the consumer, um, kind of seamlessly. So what we have here is a chemical vapor deposition chamber where we deposit the device layers onto a substrate like paper. And what happens is we flow volatile vapor precursors, so vapors or gases, into the chamber, which absorb onto the surface of the paper substrate and form a thin film. When I was a kid, my, my parents definitely tried to enable me to, to do what I wanted. Um, they also really fostered in me the ability to be creative and to take risks and to kind of just have fun. And I think having the freedom to kind of explore what's out there and, and what you're good at um, really kind of has helped me get to where I am. It's not really one subject that you know I'm really good at, but um, it's more just kind of wanting to push the pounds of what I know and you know what I can create with that. Like I was um, eight years old when I started playing the piano. Um, I picked up the trombone when I was 11. It was kind of a passion of mine growing up. There's a lot of overlap between musicians and engineers and the way they think and um, process information. And there's a lot of creativity to both. Going through the inventive process and the PhD process and the research process has been really exciting. You're in the lab, you're discovering kind of new science, new materials, new ways of applying these materials. Where these inventions actually become useful is can we actually get them in the hands of people? And that's something that I'm excited to be doing right now. Um, I'm actually a co-founder of a company called Ubiquitous Energy, and we are looking at new ways of deploying um, kind of some new solar technologies. To me, inventing is not really an epiphany moment. It's not a moment where you just one day wake up and decide I have this great idea. So it was more kind of an evolution and they're saying, you know, what's next? How, how far can we push this? And um, it's really a matter of Keeping your mind open to new opportunities and being able to identify those that are promising and kind of throw out the ones that aren't. Every day is new, anything is possible really. And as long as you're kind of dedicating yourself to being excellent and doing um, the best you can, I think that um, good things will come from that.